Namaste, I'm Amara from the Gold Coast and this is the great little class you can use any time of the day really but particularly in the morning to get your body moving to practice some mindfulness and a little bit of meditation just to start your day on the right foot. So if you have somewhere outdoor you can practice maybe your yard maybe a park or even inside is fine but getting outdoors in nature just brings so much more vitality and energy into the body. So um, this is going to be a little bit more of an energi energizing practice. I'll still give options, but just listen to your body. If something feels too much, pull back, practice an option that feels uh, safe and right for you. So let's take our feet out a little wider than the hips and start with some Tai Chi swings. Swing side to side, letting the arms wrap around the waist, letting the back foot lift and the hands come around and tap the kidneys. So nice and stimulating for the whole body, particularly the kidneys, which the Chinese system of health say is our body's battery. A couple more. And let's let our body come to a stop. Feel that warmth and circulation we've started to wake up in the body. Feet to hip width and come becoming aware of your breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Nice deep yoga breaths down into the lower belly. Feel the abdomen broaden, then the rib cage, then the chest. Let's practice a Tai Chi movement. It's particularly nice to do outdoors called heaven and earth breathing. So bring the hands to the lower belly. Imagine this the center point of your body. The Chinese system of health refers to this area as the Dantian. Take a nice breath in. And then let's exhale. Press one hand to the sky, one hand to heaven and one hand to earth. Keep the fingertips pointing in, nice flat hands, drawing the fingers back. And then soften back through the center. So let's exhale, press away. And inhale, soften back through the center. Keep going, changing sides and exhale to press. And inhale to soften. Two more on each side. Imagine pressing out old used energy we don't need anymore and then absorbing in fresh circulation, fresh vitality. Last time. Beautiful, let's bring the hands back to the abdomen. Take a few nice deep breaths, feeling all that extra circulation in the hands, shoulders, spine. Beautiful, let's further wake up the body with some sun salutes. Come up to the top of your mat or just have a little bit of room around you. Let's inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, bring the little bend into your knees and fold forward. Let the head hang and let, look back. Straight, straighten up to halfway, nice flat back. And then take a big step back with the right foot. Let's get that knee, the back of the knee over the heel for safety. Arms circle up. Exhale, let's step back to all fours. Cat cow, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Inhale, lift your collarbones, lift your sit bones, gaze forward. Exhale, press your spine to the sky, look under, press away from the floor. Let's do five of these up and down.
two more. Starting to feel the spine really lengthen and loosen. Now let's tuck the toes under, back into a downward dog, walk out the heels. Be nice and gentle with your body. If it's a morning practice for you, it's gonna feel a little stiffer and tighter. And maybe you've just not moved much today if it's later in the day for you. So just be mindful of where your body's at, don't push. Let's step the right foot through, lower that back knee, lunge the hips, but don't let the knee go past the heel. Inhale up. Exhale, step to the top. Little halfway lift, breathing in. Fold forward. Soften the knees, uncurl to a standing back bend. Let's do another one. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, maybe starting to straighten the knees now if you're feeling a little looser. Engage the belly, any back issues just staying halfway rather than folding right down. Left foot back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, this time straight back to our downward dog. You can stick with the cat cow if that was enough for you. Otherwise, let's add in a little plank coming forward. Lower down to the floor. Feet flat, press down into the lower pelvis. Hands active under the shoulders. Lengthen and traction your spine forward. Release. Popping back up through your push-up. Downward dog. Left foot forward. Inhale. Exhale, halfway lift, breathing in. Exhale, fold forward. Soften those knees, uncurl. Beautiful hands to the heart, closing off our sun salutations. Now, if you have more time, you can practice up to eight or 10 of these to really get the heart rate up, get some circulation and some momentum flowing through your body. Otherwise, let's take our stance nice and wide apart. Heels lined up, toes turned in. Let's inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold with a nice flat back. Again, halfway if you have any back issues, high blood pressure problems, heart problems. Otherwise, coming further forward down or maybe walk the arms right out in front. And this is a little great little stretch for a tired, Stiff back, maybe at the start of the day, maybe at the end of the day. If you feel a little tight or stiff, you can bend the knees. Keep those hips back if you're walking forward through the hands. Let's have five big breaths here. Beautiful, walk the hands back. Soften the knees, uncurl vertebra by vertebra. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Nice heart opening breath, wide arms, breathing in. Exhale, and repeat. Inhale, round the body. Exhale to namaste. Inhale, wide arms. Exhale, beautiful. So let's check our heels still line up. This time we're turning our toes out and we're sitting down into horse stance. So you can sit as high or as low as you like, just as long as you're not leaning forward. So keep your spine upright or vertical and relax your tailbone, engage your pelvic floor. You should be able to see the toes on the inside of the knees. Try not to let them knock in. Maybe you just need to turn your toes a little further forward if you're a bit tight or stiff. So we're gonna take the arms out to the side Settle into the hips, shoulders soft. Press through the, the palms, through the heels of the hands. Draw your fingers back. This is a nice stamina building pose, strengthening for the legs. We're gonna have 10 breaths here. So you can close your eyes, practice mind over matter. Count your 10 breaths. Beautiful, five more. 
If you'd like more challenge, you can sit a little deeper and lower. Last two. Keep those arms and hands active. On your next inhale, big scoop up. Exhale, walk or jump your feet together. Give the legs a little jiggle. Let's come down onto all fours. A little bit of core strength and activating, also working on strengthening our back muscles. They're a muscle we can't, muscle group we can't directly contract, so they need to be strong from exercise. So let's take our left arm and our right foot back. So we're, option one is we're holding, nice strong core. Try not to let your lower back sag. Option two, we're tucking under and lengthening. Exhale, under, inhale, lengthen for five. This time we're holding out here. Rest any time you need to if you want a little bit more challenge. Taking hold of the back foot, pressing that foot back and away. Balancing bow, breathing naturally as we hold. Beautiful, sitting back for a rest. Let's come up for the other side, right arm forward, left leg back. Your option one is holding, option two tucking under and extending for five. Exhale, tuck under, inhale, lengthen. This time reaching out nice and long, holding your balancing cat again, or maybe transferring to our balancing bow. Try to keep your hips and shoulders square, core active, breathing softly, not straining, don't push into strain, just a nice comfortable challenge. Beautiful. This time, keeping the big toes together, taking the knees wide, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rest forward, either on folded arms or arms out straight. Take five resting breaths here. Walking back up, knees together, and coming to seated, sitting comfortably. Let's twist our spine out a little bit, little bit. Really nice way to invigorate our nervous system for the day. Breathing in. Exhale, take a twist to one side. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, twist the other way. Let's keep practicing it dynamically. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more each way. And this time inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold forward.
let's walk back up sit comfortably we'll do a minute or two of mindful breathing this is alternate nostril breathing take your comfortable hand first two fingers to the forehead and we use our thumb and our ring finger to alternate side to side so inhale normally close your right nostril exhale through the left only inhale change sides exhale breathing in changing sides breathing out breathing in changing sides breathing out breathing in changing sides breathing out a few more breathing in changing sides breathing out breathing in changing sides breathing out to finish just stop next time you exhale through the left nostril relax sit comfortably again feel that more balanced inner mood in your body and your mind And to really concrete this feeling of calm and steadiness, let's end with a beautiful mantra meditation. Our mantra will be Om Hari Om. So we inhale and think the mantra as we scoop the arms overhead. And then down through the center, we say the mantra Om to the forehead, Hari to the throat, and Om to the heart. Let's do five of these to add that holistic balance to our practice this morning. Breathing in. Om Hari Enjoy the feeling in your body, in your mind, and your heart. Keep that feeling with you and come back and practice with us anytime you like. Thank you. Namaste.